Hello everybody, welcome back to Nisha's Plants. So today's video, I basically thought I would show you how to grow an alocasia from bulb. This is somewhat my alocasia corner. I know I have other things, so I've got philodendron begonia because I need to reshuffle things and find a new place for that, as well as my fern. But you can see we have alocasias here. There's some new alocasias that I do have, which I will do a haul and kind of go through my newest plants with you. But um, what we're doing is growing an alocasia from bulb. Now, I had planted an alocasia bulb in here um, and we'll see how it's doing. But the way that I like to propagate alocasia and grow them from bulb is to do so in moss um, because I find it's a lot more effective and they grow quicker and as we can see here got a root there but where is the bulb um, there we go the bulb is there I think you can see that yeah the bulb is there and you'd see it's not done much so yes you can put allocation bulbs in soil um, they'll just take a lot longer because it's probably rooting it's not broken you can see a little bit of the top is starting to come through there so you can see a little bit of the top is starting to come through there but it does take a lot longer i find in soil but i find that i'm able to propagate bulbs a lot quicker in moss so i'm going to show you how to do that so let's get to it the other way to grow a bulb is to take the bulb so you can see that's the top and that's the bottom and literally put it in a bag of moss sieve it up leave it in highlight and you're good to go all right just on the allocation bowl we have a look and we grab this You'll see, Ooh, we've got some activity there. See, look, it's starting to come through. Now, what I will actually do, which I'll show you, I'll take this and put it in a pot with the moss itself and leave it this way up so that the roots can start to come through the bottom. But yeah, it's still well in the bag. So I'll put that back in just as it was and leave it to be it's thin. So you can see that's growing and if we open this up you can see there's the leaf now it's a bit bent because of the package it's growing in but as you can see it's growing and there's the bulb and this beautiful leaf is about to unfurl for us so literally you can see i've got this and i've got some moss in there i'm going to take this moss which is damp and it's got a mix of perlite in it literally put that in just like that and then we're going to take the bulb out now you can see basically underneath you can probably see those roots so we have to try and be careful in actually getting it out but initially what I'll do just move it up take the bulb And you can see that's 
a leaf, some curl in there. Obviously it's curled a bit because it was now can we get this out without it being too crazy? Obviously because it's got all the moss around it. Which is not bad, not too bad so far. So basically just loosening up the roots. You should probably take all of this out in case they go quite far. Let's see. And if we can just so I've taken it out but we've got this one next to it. So I'm just gonna release this like that. And there it is. So you've got the bulb there, you can see the roots there as well and i'm going to position it this way so it can straighten so i can actually take some of this out um and literally just put this in here and make sure those roots get in set it like that and then basically put some around the edges to to keep it there and keep it damp see the roots there, there, just put a little more in just to pack it out a little bit and then occasionally we'll wet this, this moss is actually still quite damp so I'm going to leave it, put it in the greenhouse and then um, let it grow some more. So as you see we've got it here and I'm literally just going to put it at the back so it'll get a good amount of light but not directly under actually do you know what so I'm going to take it and put it on this side of the greenhouse so it's getting a good amount of light but it's also near the window so it gets natural bright indirect light and you can see there it is so that's how you grow an allocation from bulb this is the leaf you can see it's fully opened up now there we go This is now what this baby looks like. What a beautiful leaf. And you can see it's fully just come out, grown, happy. And we'll just wait for the next leaf to come through now. Um, at this stage, you can actually pot it up into soil or whatever substrate you would like because it is established. Um, as you can see, we've got roots through there just running right through. Um, you can see roots through there as well. You can see roots through there as well. So um, yeah, you can pot up and enjoy your alocasia growing from bulb. Hi guys, so thank you for watching. I hope you found this video useful and maybe you will try propagating alocasia bulbs in moss yourself. If you've tried any other method, do let me know how that worked out for you and what you prefer. So dare to dream, live to grow, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.